Hello guys, what's going on? And welcome back to the Ultimate RTG and the decision has been made. Welcome, player of the month, Nabri, to the club. And when you find out how much I was able to get in for with coins as well as some untradables, I think you'll agree with me, it is a bargain. And I just knew there was something about this card that I didn't want to miss out on. And what I've been told with the ratings refresh, Nabri could go up to a five star weak foot. So just picture that in those advanced positions. Five star weak foot, four star skills, really good pace, shooting, dribbling a bit on the strength that is a game changer and already he's made an impact in our side and I was wanting to bring in a bit of quality although I've got a few players of chemistry it has been working and I've been using some fresh custom tactics that I feel like has taken my game to the next level and I'm back on form and I want to share those with you boys so if you are enjoying the series please leave a like if we can aim for 2,000 3,000 that'd be awesome and if you are new around here hit that subscribe button to not miss a video from me so playing it on your screen are the squads that I was uh, submitting towards the player of the month as well as the packs that I've opened so in total it did set us back 115,000 and I used like a few reds and some untradable uh, high rated cards so it has left us with 106,000 in coins which is fantastic and that's what I'm going to be putting towards the bronze pet method and I'm going to start the league SBC grind what I need advice on though is that my intention is to save packs for team of the year that's just around the corner but how do I approach this? Because with division rivals and foot champs, I obviously want to be making coins every single week and upgrading the side. And then with the league SBC, if I save those packs, I think it's harder to do the grinds because from uh, I remember from FIFA 19, if you were to do like the league SBC method, it's best to open the packs along the way so then you can get the silvers, you can get non-red golds, golds, and just like continue as you go. So how do we save packs, please? Give me some advice right now because I don't feel like EA are going to be releasing like really good upgrade SBCs. Remember how on FIFA 18 they were really overpowered. You had rares and non-rares so you could keep recycling through. And then on FIFA 19, I swear they only gave you one rare. We still were able to pack an Mbappe though. So maybe our luck for team of the year will be with us. We'll have to see. But I did sell a lot of uh, the informs that we packed from yesterday's foot champ rewards. Otamendi 17,000. It's shocked that he was that low. McGinn 33,750. I did submit his red as well towards an Abri. We've got 10,000, 10,000. I didn't need Boateng because I had already uh, copied the squads that I uh, submitted. So for the price of uh, the player of the month and with how well he's playing already, he was chipping the goalkeepers. His pace down the line is important. I think that it is a very, very good signing. So I want to go and show you how to set up this team. I want to go through my custom tactics as well. And we're going to be jumping into the weekend league boys. I want a good run. I, I don't want to be uh, taking any losses uh, from Friday. I don't want to take any losses on Saturday. I want to try and keep a really good defense, nice and composed in the attack, and go from there. So let's go and have a look at this team, and I'll show you my tactics. So unfortunately, we weren't able to pull anything from the packs that we did receive from the SBC. But if I were to have sold everything, we would have been able to bring down the cost by about 15,000 or so. So in total, 100,000 coins as well as some untradables, and we've got this absolute beast. And I had to use him as a striker in a 4-2-3-1, and he does work very well. So I hope and pray for that ratings refresh. Please give him a five-star weak foot. That would be deadly. And I do prefer my right-footed players on the right for some reason. And I know that a couple of you guys were asking, why can I not get on with Sterling? Why do I prefer Salah? Maybe that's the reason, right? So if you're cutting in and you're angling for that finesse shot with Salah, obviously it's going to work a little bit better but with Sterling like I just seem to drop past players in a way and then I've got that angle near post or across goal and this is one of the uh, reasons why I wanted uh, Nabry so much the shooting stats the passing the dribbling hey, he's got pretty much everything man so really really happy that I unlocked him but when it comes to the starting 11 and setting it out one player I had to drop and it was Alex Tellez I didn't want to get rid of him because those balls down the left hand side have been serious like his vision I don't know what they've given him right now what is his vision stat it is 77, but his long pass is 89 and 89 curve. Maybe that's what it is. Now, with 
Uh, Nelson Semedo, he doesn't really have that ability, but he can put off those passes, just not as consistent. So we've got to keep an eye on that, but I just wanted a little bit of chemistry to uh, Messi. So Messi is still playing as our striker in the 4 2 3 1. I've got Lucas as my cam, and I've got Dembele as my left attacking mid. So not too many changes, but we just had to fix up the starting formation so we're ready for the weekend league. Now, the custom tactics that I want to go through with you boys, it is players inside the box. Now, I am pretty sure that what this tactic means is how quickly your players will push up and support the play. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's a good thing. And I used to always play on like five, six, sometimes I would whack it up to seven, but it's not a good idea. That in fact feels like you're playing fast build up play. And when the gameplay is slightly slower, your players are going away from you and you'll start to notice a lot more of those passes being played just behind and it's awkward to try and like um, adjust and track back. And when I come up against uh, those players in the weekend league, they're able to still like pass it around, pass the move with ease. I feel like what are they doing that's different to me? And I've really do believe that they've turned the players inside the box uh they're treating it as a little bit more possession base and they're waiting for the right pass but it doesn't slow down your play it's really really odd like i've been playing on three and it is working really really well it's it's taken me by surprise and i was able to go on a few more like winning streaks i was i got up right um, I don't usually like achieve this on the RTG because I just play casually But the other day I was playing some games and before I knew it I was up to like a 1750 skill rating or whatever it was and I was in division 2 I had to relegate myself down for the rewards But that was with me just like grinding out some games and I went on a streak So if I can do that in the weekend league, that would be very very nice So yeah, I play on 5-3-3 three, three, and the instructions that I've been using, getting behind for Messi, I'm still I'm still testing whether or not I prefer balance or getting behind. Stay forward on Lucas though, he doesn't need to track back, he's got really poor stamina. Come back on the defense for the two uh, wingers. Cover center and stay back while attacking for Kante, but Petit I've left to push on, and that's worked very well. And then stay back while attacking for the two fullbacks. So those are my tactics that I'm gonna be using. The four triple two, um, have I changed those four triple two tactics? I don't think so. Um, all right, maybe I brought yeah I brought that down a little bit more. I'm using six and four. If I'm honest with you though, I haven't been switching into the four triple two that much. I've just been using four two three one, and it's ready for the weekend, league boys. So Messi, what's his record before we jump in some games? Twenty eight games, twenty nine goals, nine assists. I love that. He is just perfect. He really has changed the starting 11. And if you were to ask me, who do I prefer now? Neymar, Mbappe, Messi. I think Messi is just... Uh, is it wrong for me to say it's so well-rounded because he doesn't really have the strength and he doesn't have that power that Mbappe possesses? But what I mean, right, is that not only is he going to get you goals, but he's adding so much to your attack because of his positioning and his AI awareness. So he drops into space and he's like so easy to find. But then when he's on the ball, you've got the playmaking as well. And then you've got the finish. You just got everything from Messi. He is dangerous. And if there's a player that you want to go and purchase for a million coins... It's messy. So let's get in some games, boys. Wish me luck. Let's go on a streak. Come on. Show me the Mane. Is this the same guy that I played on FIFA 18? He used to be good. Uh, I don't know about that team, though. Get support around Dembele. Yeah, this guy seems uh, pretty decent. Even with his team, I can already tell you the player positioning. But is he good enough to defend Messi, though? That's the difference. This is why Messi's in our starting 11. It's just the turns. It's the way he can avoid being tackled. Petite, petite. Oh, that's how I've been playing during the week. Just nice and calm, you know. Not speaking as much. Nice ball. Oh, my God. Lucas is back in the side, and we're going to be using him for the full weekend league. It was a bad idea that I got rid of him the first time, you know? And I got a new celebration. Do you think that's toxic? I'm not sure. Unless he's making that run. Little flick through. Nabry on the wing. He's just so far. Like, he, he just... Look at him cutting inside. He's just so fast. Uh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That was aggressive. Messi, what positioning? What posi... You do not deny me a Messi goal. Do not deny me that Messi goal. I don't really want it right now, but I I'll take it. I'm not forcing it into him. I'm just playing as I would because it's the weekend league and it's, it's not time to start trying to find certain players. We're just playing naturally and whoever gets the goals, like if 
Lucas wants to get himself into those positions. I'm going to find him. Good start, boys. And we're dominating. That's the difference. We're dominating. We're scoring a lot of goals. And I'm feeling good right now in the game. And that's the first game done. You never want to lose it. Be honest with me. Don't be ashamed. Put in the comment section. Have you lost your first game on Fever 20 yet? I think you have. You have. I haven't. Just as well. Come on. I'm ready. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, that's nice. Nesta. Hernandez. Never used that, uh, Luis Hernandez. Let's see. Hold off. Oh, oh no. Burner. What a save from Galashi. My heart. My heart's just stopped. Give me a chance. All right, I'm good. Let's get down the line, Abri. Go on. Get down the line. You have a middle, middle, middle. Lucas. Well played, well played. Oh, that could have been a foul. Go out to Lucas. Oh, the T. Ooh, that was a big banger. It just didn't go in. Look at Lucas making that big run. Go on, Lucas. Now I need support around him, though. Messi. Just give it Messi. Messi will change my game. Across goal, Messi. No, I'm against Manuel Neuer. Good challenge again. Come on. Let's get that ball up. Nice passing. Lucas. Oh, Messi. Finesse, Lucas. Oh, wow. This Neuer is on form. Use him. Anyone on the edge? Oh, uh, the movement is there. Messi. Messi. Love him. Well done. Petit is really playing well, though. Dropping back, getting those tackles in. Someone was asking me yesterday, would I pay 800000 for a Petit? The thing is, I feel like he is worth 800000 but he still wouldn't be my go-to. If that makes sense. I wouldn't like rush out and go and purchase him, but he's he's solid. And I'm very pleased that I was able to uh, to pack him. But right now, you can even see for him though, some of these passes are being played like slightly behind. And it's and it's awkward. Oh nah. Come on, come on, come on. Oh wow. It is a mess right now. Look, look at these tackles. Jesus Christ. What am I seeing? No, please no. Only the one goal at the break. I've had a few chances though. And, and before uh, Messi scored, I think I should have had like two goals, but Noyes has just been a beast. Petit once again, always in the position. This guy is trying to push right now and he has to push just as well. We got that first goal. Otherwise I would have been stressing in this game. Uh, good ball though. Come on, Messi's there. He knows I want to pass to Messi. He knows I want to pass to Messi. And that just felt like it went through the keeper. All right. Lucas and Messi on the break. Messi, come back, come back, come back. Oh, he ran a little bit too fast. But it's okay. That positioning, not finishing in this game. Oh, he screwed up. Oh, the composure, though. That composure. Come on. Good goal. Is that a hat trick? Oh, no, no. Lucas scored the first one. Good tackle, Kante. It's Kante and Petit right now. Messi. He's dropped past him. Look at now Messi. Messi drag back. Hill to hill. Messi. Jesus Christ, this card. What a way to seal the hat trick, though. In this gameplay as well, that is remarkable. Messi. The playmaking when he drops into those positions. Lucas. Oh, I did not see his keeper. <gasps> no way. That doesn't usually happen. EA preferred to give the advantage to the keeper. What is Neuer doing? I mean, he's completely lost his head. Lucas down the line. Dembele. Dembele. Oh, Dembele. Dembele. Oh, he's going to do double wacker wacker and score a goal. Um, not to be, but what a game. It started off um, a little bit sketchy. We had quite a few chances, and I didn't think that it was going to be a game with so many goals, but... We stuck, stuck by our tactics and we were just pushing. And Messi, I think that was four goals for him or three, four goals. So I'm not going to risk playing any more games because towards the end of that one, I got a little bit lucky. As I was in a winning position, my opponent had to then push out and start creating a few things. Then he was open defensively. One, two, three, four. They just all start flying in. Whereas if I go into another game and I concede first, then I'm going to start stressing and it's not going to be a very good video. So I will resume play later tonight i hope to go on like a 10 game or a 15 game unbeaten streak just to show you boys that we have made changes to the team and it's working as well as tactics 
I just want to give myself that confidence. But squad building challenges. So the MLS came out, was it yesterday or the day before? And you've got two like pretty decent cards. Uh, that Villal Villalba, uh, he has four star, four star, and Acosta has five star skills. They're really like my kind of players. But by the time I would be able to like unlock them, they'd be kind of worthless and just a little bit dead. Uh, what I used to uh, do is when we were grinding the League SBC method on FIFA 19, I would stick all of these high rated cards into the Icon SBC objectives and then take tradable packs. But as they are no longer available, uh, one thing as well that isn't available are the rising stars and humble beginnings to get like those of bronze cards and silvers. So how would you approach the League SBC grind? Because I 100% want to do it. I'm prepared. I'm ready. I've got 107,000. I have the team and I want to start because team of the year is fast approaching and I want loads of packs. But like I said before at the start of the video, do I save the packs from division rivals and foot champs or do I save the packs through League SBC? You're going to have to, like, give me your opinions. Or, do you know what we could do? Is just continue doing League SBC grind over and over again and just keep opening packs all the way through the year. Maybe that's a, a good idea. But with the way the team is playing, boys, I did show you my tactics, and I feel like it's going to get a lot more out of your game. Trust me, you know, I have always been set on having six players inside the box, seven players at times, and it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be able to attack better. Uh, there's not as much control with six and seven than there is with, like, three or four. And I'm playing a little bit more possession-based, though. That's maybe something that I should really say. And it is working um, a lot better. But Messi, he's finished on uh, 30 games, 33 goals, 9 assists. Uh, Nabry, I, I know that you guys will say, like, yo, Fuj, he's not really performing. He's only got uh, two goals, four assists in eight games. He is performing, and I don't really feel the need to have to force him into a striker role, a cam role, um, just to show you guys that he's getting goals. Like, as long as the team is playing well, and then eventually, naturally, he's getting into those areas to score and shoot across goal near post, then the goals will come. But surprisingly, we're playing very well with Konate and Ella Minateo, you know, and also Mbabu, like 81, 81, 82, back with Galashi in goal that pulled off a very, very good save. Like, it was trying to cheese me. I put in so many tackles, and it was very, very awkward. Two players that killed it, though. Petit was so, so... Petit, I think, outperformed Kante in that game. And it was just locking onto him like I've never experienced before. So really, really happy with how solid, um, yeah, the team is playing. So if you are around later tonight for a stream, I will be uh, streaming, I hope, uh, half four. But I've got a few things... Um, that I need to deal with before I start streaming. So maybe this video today is gonna to be a little bit later and I apologize uh, for that reason. But yeah, a few things are going on and I don't know if I will be here to set the video live. Uh, yeah, a little bit disorganized right now, but thank you very much for watching. Good luck in the weekend league, leave a like and I'll see you on the next one. Team out, peace.